Hello, this is Jeff Walters, and uh, we're going to go over a quick video here on how to add iframe maps to your home page. This is something a lot of people don't realize they can do with the uh, JJW Design Google Maps package. And uh, what I have here is uh, Sugar CRM Community Edition. I'm running version 6.5 right now. Uh, this is build uh, 1041 6.5.13. And I've already installed the package. Um, I'm going to assume you've already installed the JJW Design Google Maps package. Uh, this is version 2.02. .02. And if we go over to the Maps module, I've already geocoded all the data. I'm going to save that for another video some other time. Uh, this particular uh, module here, I went ahead and created a, a custom map. Let me edit this map real quick and show you the details. What I wanted to do was show you an area map that was around Cupertino, California, around Sugar CRM's location. Um, this particular uh, data is from the Sugar CRM testing data, so it's not ex actually a real companies, San Young Consolidation Group, I don't think actually exists, but that's the center point, uh, it's an account in this case, and this is the center point of my map, and I'm going to map all the leads surrounding that particular account within 100 miles of uh, distance. So if I save that and map the leads, you should see the center point, this is the account, Sandy Young Consolidation Corp. And of course, you'll see the leads that are around that uh, particular location within 100 miles. Of course, uh, what I want to do now is use this map, but on the home page of your Sugar CRM account. So, what I want to do here is notice this URL that's down at the bottom of the page here. Since this is a saved map, I can use this iframe URL which is basically the iframe that's shown right here on this page and I can copy this URL copy link location and use it on a dashlet on the home page now this is what it's going to end up looking like here let me go ahead and remove that show you how to create from scratch I'm going to go ahead and add a dashlet go over to web the web tab allows me to add in a website which I'm going to use my iframe URL, add that, and voila. We have a Sugar CRM um, based uh, map around the Cupertino, California area showing all the leads around this particular account. Now, one of the great things about this is this is a saved map which can be later edited if multiple people are using the same map, they'll see the same details be edited or changed within that map. For example, if I go back to my map here and add in an area, I already created one so that I could speed up this tutorial a little bit. Testing area. I'm going to go ahead and select that, add the testing area to this map, and I'm also going to select a custom marker. I already created one for Sugar CRM. So I'm going to go ahead and add Sugar CRM custom marker and the testing area for Southern Cupertino area or Southern uh, section of uh, San Francisco Bay Area. And then I'm going to go back to my home page. Since I've, I've edited this particular map, it should show the changes shown on the home page. You notice here now we have a custom area called testing area which can have really any details you want to it on it and there's also it's hard to see here as it's kind of underneath some of the other um, map clusters here but this is sugar CRM it's a custom marker shows the details of that custom marker this information can be you know customized of course and not only do you have this great map on your home page but this map can also be shared uh, amongst other sales colleagues uh, that would also need to know similar information. Now there's another way to create a a custom map for the home page and that's based on the quick radius uh, map 
display. So we go back to our our maps. Uh, this is a custom map here, that you're, or you're creating a map with all the details. There's a, a quick radius map, which is basically a, a quick search of, of a particular type of module, such as leads. We can type in here um, Cupertino, California, you know, USA if we wanted to, or just Cupertino, California, and map within 100 miles of that location showing all the leads. If we do that we'll get a similar map. We won't have really a center point per se. This is a center point Cupertino, California and we'll have you know the leads that are within 100 miles of that. This type of map also has an iframe URL to it which can be used in a similar manner. You notice the uh, parameters in here are fairly straightforward. You'll notice there's a uh, an action of map markers, a quick address which is Cupertino, California, display module type, display modules equal to leads, distance 100 unit types, miles, submit process, that's just a extra little thing there. But you can copy this link, copy link location, and then go back to your home page and also use that as a web dashlet pulling in that iframe and you'll get another map. Now, this is not a map that's really going to be shared amongst anybody. It's not even really a, a saved map. It's just a quick radius type map, but it does add some extra functionality to your Sugar Serum homepage, which is very valuable, I think, to many people, being able to visually see uh, many of the leads that you're working with. Of course, there's other options here, um, auto-refreshing, I wouldn't really use that really. This uh, dashlet height, very important to go ahead and you know increase that a little bit to give your map a little more height. I think you know 450, 500 should be good for most people. And that's uh, a quick little add-on tip to go ahead and add a Google Map to your homepage showing either a customized map or a quick radius map. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to donate. Thanks.